Okay, hello everyone. This is Tom and Mark and Pop John, and we have two guests today, Chris and Mark. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we decided to call a couple of experts to come out and look at the dig site today. And one of the things that was real helpful, and Mark has a lot of experience with this. Um, you may have heard me refer to him. He has uh, been a real mentor to us. But he took a look at our rock pile here and thinks uh, definitely that this was a, a bake oven of some sort. And according to you, Mark, you, you rarely find uh, artifacts with the bake ovens. Rarely. Yeah. Rarely. Yeah. So we decided, since we took all the time to come out here in the woods, that we might as well throw some dirt around. And we've been here about 15 minutes. And it looks like we have something already. Go ahead and hit that, Mark. That is a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why we're here. So, who's gonna who's gonna speak first on point type? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't see that as woodland, but I could be wrong. See how these flare up like this? These flare up. Yep. Yeah. It. Yeah, Hopewell, Hopewell. Is, is never ground. However, look at you have your teardrops here, yep. and your uh, shoulders coming up and around. Yep. Crude Hopewell is my thinking. Which, with the Adena pottery less than 20 yards away, and the Adena and the Hopewell blended, you know, together at one point. I'm yeah. not surprised. And we're not seeing, it doesn't look like archaic flaking like I first thought when we started washing it off. So, yeah, woodland would fall into line. It does look like, no, that's just dirt. I was going to see if that was a... Can you get behind his ears? <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, we're going to keep digging a little bit, and if we find anything, we will get back to you. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, it's nice to have Mark and Chris come over and visit us uh, last week. So today we're back out at the dig site, Pop John, Jenny, and Mark, and Mocha. And uh, we've, we've had kind of a slow start. You know, again, we, we are um, moving off the top of the hill here a little bit, and um, we're seeing probably less concentration of flint. But let me show you a couple of the things that we've picked up so far here. So there's a little tip. We'll definitely go home and try to match that up with something. This little flake tool. You can see, you can see the edge there. This is a little pitted stone. It's got pecking, pitting on both sides. Um, we think this could have been a salt. Again, we don't have the right end to know. Um, this one's dimpled on the bottom. Um, we wouldn't have thought much about this except of where we found it. I mean, it's kind of shaped like a cone. Um, but again, we're not sure. This doesn't look like it's broken half. This has got wear all along the edges, but not sure. But we finally... Uh, after this is I think our third square today we finally came up with a nice one and it's down in the hole Mark I was getting ready to stab the shovel into it right Mark What's that? I said you're getting ready to stab the shovel in it you're gonna do the honors or what Mark you got it I got her here oh my it's all there yeah that's got that kind of um so this is interesting. Looks looks like a side notch point with these clipped Square ears, ears, squared off or clipped ears, and I don't know. That might even have some beveling on it there. Yeah, pretty material. Boy, that almost looks like uh, nethers. nethers. Yeah. A little more color, probably. Yeah. Now there's probably this color of nethers around. All right. Well, that made the day worthwhile. These ears are neat. Yep. 
All right, hopefully that's the first of more to come. We'll get back to you. Okay, we are still at it, and I wouldn't normally film just a little piece of one, but I'm going to film this because of what it appears to be. Keep her out of water. Well, somebody sat on it at lunch. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Clean the magazine out of it. Whoops. <laughs> Look at that. Squared off base. No edge grinding on it. But that looks like it's pretty old. It does. Mm -hmm. We only have, um, of all the hunting we've done out here, we have two bases that look, you know, paleo or I guess I call them lancelets or stem lance. But yeah, it's an interesting find. Okay, we'll get back to you. Okay, well, I'll do a quick clean up here out on the front porch today, and you can see it's been a good year for corn. This is the view out our out of our front porch, and the corn is has done well for the farmer. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple things here. I don't think I showed this one uh, when we found it, but. Um, all pecked off down the middle and this one as well this side as well um, can't quite tell if it how much it's hammered on the side so this one's a little a little flatter um, I could see this one being uh, a nutting stone or or that you would hold something in place with this one but again it's a it's a softer type of rock so it wouldn't have stood too much hammering but, yep, that was part of today's finds. Here's, I don't know what to call this. I mean, I know what it's shaped like, but who knows. Here's the, what I think is a beat up celt. Um, it's made out of that softer uh, slate material. And we do find slate celts around here. But, yeah, this one's all... This one's all beat up. Uh, we did actually find a piece of pottery today. It's kind of exciting for us. So we're getting back over into that area uh, on the grid where the other pottery pieces came from. Here's that little tip we found. Here's the interesting looking base we found. There's no grinding on it. But it appears to be a piece of something old. Which we've not found much, you know, late paleo, early archaic uh, out on that site. But it has shown up. And then there's our whole piece for the day. Interesting, uh, I mentioned it out in the field, but it's got one of those bases where it looks like they clipped the base. Um, I don't feel... There might... Now that I've got it washed up, there might be a little bit of basal grinding on that. Definitely a nice piece. Um, I have to say, we our expectations were a little bit higher. Uh, <laughs> I think we dug six squares today, um, which was a lot. Uh, moved a lot of dirt, and I don't know. Again, you know, it all has to do with expectations. I mean, we've been we've had days where we've found quite a bit more than this, and. Uh, that's not to say this isn't a good day. It's just we are finding more um, in the stuff that we've found in the past uh, in those squares, and we've moved the grid slightly. So we're going to keep at it. You know, we're not disappointed. Um, 
it's just again our expectations I think are a little bit higher um, and that just comes from having some really successful days in the past but um, okay yep there's a little look at what we found today uh, thanks for tuning in Till next time this is Commissioner Tom signing off